Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hey, honey, how you doing today? I'm just going to bring you guys along with me because today we are going to go for a little road trip because I have to go do a course for school. Um, so I'm just going to bring you along with that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see me here every single week. I'm making a fool of myself, okay? Who doesn't want to see that, okay? Go present. I'll see you. just got a freaking flat tire I just left town and I already have a flat tire like let me show you it, it is really, really flat. so we got good old uncle Ryan coming to save me and hopefully I will be back on the road because I need to be actually going right away thankfully I always leave super early so I have like an hour and a half of leeway but hopefully we can get it fixed I don't know if I'm really feeling these new glasses. I got them at Winners for like 20 bucks. They're on sale, cause you know me in sales. They're Calvin Klein, but I feel like they're almost too grandpa-y. But I always lose my sunglasses. I don't know where the hell they go. Who steals them? What kind of freaking evil fairies are stealing my dang sunglasses? But it ain't cool, okay? Okay, so I cannot buy expensive sunglasses because it does not end well for me. I got a whole bunch of gas station road trip snacks. I love Cajun mix. Not exactly the healthiest, but this is not about that, right? <laughs> Moderation and everything. Sometimes we gotta eat crap. It, it's so good. The one piece that is my favorite is like these weird little, I don't know what they are. What is this? You guys, what is that? But it's good. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna put you onto something, okay? The best combination in the world is chocolate like i don't care what kind usually like milk chocolate with black coffee now you just like eat your chocolate and then you take like a sip of black coffee the mixture between the sweet and the bitter chef's mother effing kiss it's so good just try it even if you don't like black coffee you have to try this i'm contemplating on whether or not i should just go stick my leg out pick me up somebody <laughs> Just kidding. But I literally like just last week locked my keys in my vehicle. So like this man has to come and save me so often. It's absolutely absurd. It's absurd. I am, I'm a flight risk, okay? I am on the road again. On the road again and I'm not even late because I was two hours early. I actually made it here but and I got some sushi for supper which looks really good it's like a dynamite crunch roll so it should be dang good but I guess I have to go in right now because it's like 20 minutes till the course starts so I better get my butt in there and make sure that I'm in the right room because last time I went for a CPR course girl I was traipsing around the university in the middle of COVID when it was all locked somehow someone let me in there and I was traipsing around the university thinking that it was in there for like half an hour when no one was allowed in except for like teachers and stuff. So <laughs> I don't know how I always end up getting into buildings that are locked and I should not be in, but I somehow manage it all the time. And <laughs> anyways, I gotta stop rambling, gonna drink my coffee, go in there and get this done okay guys it's actually so dark but i'm finally done the course actually it was way shorter than i thought it was going to be um and i passed so that's good one last thing off my list of stuff to do before i go to school so i'm gonna try this sushi girl i don't know like i was contemplating eating it on the road but <laughs> girl i'm gonna be in the ditch because i can't stay on the road when both my eyeballs are on the road so we're gonna we're gonna eat it now oh i just got out of winners and i got this little necklace for myself like it's kind of cheap um like it was only 30 bucks but i'm hoping it doesn't change color does sterling silver change color i don't know i just like messed up my last one and i want something cute and little it's like a little gold one so i don't know it should be cute oh i also bought this yogurt too but i'll probably eat that later 
as I break a nail trying to do this. I have to drive home four hours now. Because <laughs> literally, because of COVID, there's like no courses closer. I'm not sure why, but... Oh my god, I love wasabi. Except for the first time I ate sushi, I did not know what wasabi was. So I ate like a full spoonful of it, and I was in an actual restaurant with people, with a bunch of friends. Oh my god, you guys, they laughed at me so hard, because I pretty much like choked at the table, you know? Like this stuff is like hardcore. You do not eat a full spoonful of it. It was not a good moment for me. I should just do mukbangs on my channel from now on. <laughs> Screw the fitness advice. Just start doing mukbangs. Total opposite of what I preach, but alright. Put some of these crunchies on top. Maybe that would be good. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to finish this. And then um, I'm going to start driving home. So I will see you when I see you. <laughs> Yo, look at the northern lights tonight. They look so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can really see them in the video. Oh my god, it's just crazy. They stretch all the way across the road. The thing about them, they always keep changing too. That looks crazy. Oh my god. So beautiful. One of the only great things about living in this cold place. <laughs> that is just gorgeous. Right, I am back and it's the next day and I didn't hit any mooses is, so I'm pretty happy about that. I just wanted to sit down and talk with you guys a little bit about something that has been on my brain recently, and that is confidence and how to become self-confident. And I don't just mean like within your body, I mean like within your whole being. I think I just started to think about this a little bit more because I all of a sudden realized the other day that I have become quite confident when I used to be very, very unconfident and shy and scared of everything that people thought of me so I just kind of want to share with you guys how I got to this point I think one of the biggest jumps for me with my confidence has been actually YouTube when I first started YouTube last February it's actually been about nine eight nine months since I started it I was actually very uncomfortable and unconfident with putting myself out here online like this. Like, it's a big step. My life has now been broadcasted onto YouTube for anyone who wants to watch it. And people can judge me who know me and think of me differently. So that was definitely something that I knew jumping into it was gonna be difficult and hard for me to wrap my brain around and get used to. But now I have realized that I just put up what I wanna put up what I'm feeling good about that week for my weekly video and I just let it go. Growing up, I thought that confidence was actually unattractive. Somehow that was taught to me that confidence was unattractive and big headed and just all around obnoxious and annoying. But now I have come to the conclusion that you can never be too confident or too aware of your own potential. Not to say that there are people who are big headed, who come across as confident, but are actually just very petty. Open real confidence isn't unattractive. It's actually only like the petty false front confidence that is actually extreme unconfidence. Um, portraying as confident to feel more superior. Real confidence is knowing your potential and being so one with it that you are at a great peace with yourself. There is no petty fronts. Rather, you conduct yourself with a quiet passion and sureness of yourself. I don't know if sureness is a word, but and surety of yourself. So how do we get to this level of confidence? where you don't feel like you need to prove yourself. You just live your life and you know what you're doing your best and you're doing what's right for your life. One of the main things that I have um, run across when strengthening my confidence is struggling with physical confidence. What I would like to say is that 
when you're beginning your, your journey towards becoming more confident, you don't want to focus on physical attributes. Rather, focus on your mind and your personality. The things that really make you completely unique is up in your brain. That is something that you can really invest in and is totally and completely unique. Nobody has your set of thoughts. No one has your set of experiences. So your brain is completely unique. Even if you are an identical twin and your body is pretty much identical, your actual thought pattern and what is in your brain is totally different than the person who was literally in the same womb as you. Gain experiences that make you feel unique. Another thing is think of the things that you set yourself apart from everyone with that made you feel different in a negative way and spin that in a way that is positive to make you stand out in a positive way. Becoming individual and unique pretty much makes you confident as long as you think of it in a positive light. Let's say for a physical example, growing up you hated your butt because it was super big and everyone made fun of you for it and it just wasn't in, but now you realize that everyone's trying to grow their booty and you have one and y'all are just like, I got this already. I got the junk in the trunk. So that gives you confidence. Now in a mental and emotional way, an example would be, let's say growing up, you were a bossy child and it kind of made you <clears throat> stressed out and uncomfortable because you've always felt like you wanted to lead, that the people just needed to understand your opinion and run with it. Just you had a serious passion for leading people. Now, as you've grown, you are now still, as you would say, bossy, but you've become educated in a certain skill set. So now your bossiness has just turned into educational and driven, passionate, and a leadership kind of personality. Now you could think of your bossiness in a negative light because people probably won't always like you if you are the kind of person who's always a leader. If you use your bossiness out of love and as a way to better the people around you instead of put them down, then you will realize as an adult or once you have become more confident that it's actually a very positive thing. That character trait is actually very positive. The third thing that I do wanna say is that it's not gonna happen overnight. It takes a lot of self-reflection and self-work. Um, even if you can get into therapy, I always say therapy is good for everyone. So it's gonna take time and work. So you have to be patient with yourself and your confidence. And there's gonna be times when you're not gonna feel the greatest anyways. It's just, human okay you can be 100 percent confident all the time it's going to come back but as long as the majority of the time you're very um at one with yourself and your characteristics then you will be a confident person just give it time and it will come you just got to work on yourself though in order to get it you can't just expect to be confident and not actually do the work to become confident invest in yourself that's the biggest thing you know so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below how you became confident if you are and how you're working towards it also let me know down below what you guys think i should do for my background i don't know what's going on here this is just not i don't know <laughs> anyways i hope you have a great rest of your day thank you so much for watching and until next time you guys have a good one